welcome everyone. Um, I'm very excited about this coming session uh, where we are going to learn from Tafa about how to build cool websites uh, with Wikidata's data and data from many other exciting places around the world. Yeah, Tafa, over to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lydia. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Last time I was in a Wikidata event was on the Wikidata conference event, and it was really fun. It's a, such a fun crowd whenever I attend Wikidata events, so I'm really happy to be back. Let me share my screen. Um, let's see. Can you all see my slide? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'll get started. So my name is Tarfa. Um, I am a PhD student at MIT. And today I'll be sharing with you um, the tool that we've built, which called Wixhibit. Uh, Wixhibit allows anyone to create flashy websites or flashy, flashy presentations that allow anyone to show off their Wikidata. Um, I built this tool with the help of Leah Baru and David Carger from MIT as well. So in today's session, it's, the, it's this, today's session is going to be a little bit different than probably the, the other sessions that you've attended. So I'll start with presenting Wixhibit. So I have a bunch of slides. I'm going to go over what Wixhibit is and why we built Wixhibit and how it can be useful. And um, I'll show a demo, um, a five minute demo of how to build it step by step. And then we're going to have the fun part, which is a workshop. So this is going to be more of a collaborative, interactive. We're all going to be building um, presentations or, or uh, websites or applications. Um, I can no longer see the slides. Can you not yeah, see my I think slides? Lost the slides. Um, maybe oh. you need to unshare and reshare. Let me do that. <laughs> Sorry for the cut. <laughs> oh no, no, that's that's important. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Let's see why. For some reason, maybe it's my. Let me do something to make sure that it wouldn't. Um... Sorry about that. I have two screen, that's why I'm, okay. I think it should be fine now. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll start with presenting with Exhibit. I'll show a demo, and then we're gonna get to the fun part, which is a workshop. So after I show you a demo of how it works, uh, I'll ask whoever is interested to also create their own presentation, which should, be, which should be very simple after showing you the demo, hopefully. And then at the end of this, you can all share your presentations or whatever you created uh, using Exhibit. So um, I'll get started and explain uh, why we built Wixhibit. So we all know that Wikidata you know, has valuable and amazing data. And they spent so much effort and did an amazing job curating their data. And people really want to interact with this data or currently interact with this data through the, the Wikidata pages, as well as the Wikidata query service and the API for programmers. Um, but sometimes people want to interact and view this data in different ways. Uh, and accordingly, some developers have created a number of cool applications or websites that allow people to search and view Wikidata. I mean, we just saw one of them is our browser, which was very, very cool to see. Um, now, what you're seeing in the slide is obviously a number of tools that, that um, you can find on Wikidata tool page. Uh, but every one of these tools were built by um, advanced programmer. And you know, although they're mainly presenting Wikidata, some of them actually interact and combine data from other websites as well. So you can imagine the amount of effort that those programmers or developers have to put to combine data from multiple websites as well as Wikidata. So with Wixhibit, we really want to simplify this process for programmers and making it possible for non-programmers to create cool websites and presentations of Wikidata, only using HTML and without any additional programming. So we were able to create these a number of applications that access Wikidata and other sources of data on the web. And each one of those applications was created by, that you're seeing on the page right now, was created by, um, um, a, a, by authoring a single HTML document and without any additional programming. Um, we were able to do so by building Wixhibit on Wikidata, as well as on an HTML templating language and a web API access layer. And in the next couple of slides, I'll be showing you a couple of these applications or the demos that we've created. Uh, one of these applications is an, ad, is an art gallery that allows you to search for a painter and browse their paintings. Another application is a game to guess the names of the countries from their flags and other data about them with the data being read from Wikidata. And this is more of a powerful application that shows general information about the artists from Wikidata as well as their albums and tracks from Spotify and videos from YouTube. You can go to the Wixhibit website where you can find the demos that we've just shown you and others that we've created. You can actually click on those pages and show the, the applications themselves. You can use the HTML. You can download the source code. You can view the HTML. You can also play with the code itself on CodePen. You can actually make changes, look at the application itself, make changes to the code or the HTML, and see the changes live um, while you're making the changes as well. 
in each one of those demos in, in the website. Okay, so how does it work? Before I go to the detailed demo, I'll show you very quickly how does this um, how does this library work. So we've created this JavaScript library that understands few new attributes, and you can include it in the head section of your HTML document. And I'll show you now how to use or, or use this library and, and its new attributes in your HTML document to create the Art Gallery application. So we first need to enable the library functionalities using the MV app div. Um, then we need to connect our application to Wikidata. Uh, now we need to tell our application that we want to get paintings from Wikidata by specifying the type of items we want to show and in which language. And then we use this input property in order to collect the name of a painter that we would like to show. And here is where we describe a template for each of the paintings that we would like to display. And we do this by specifying which Wikidata properties we want to include, like the image and the label in this case, and how we want to show them. And if we want to display multiple paintings, we use this MV multiple attribute, which will then make a copy of the template for each of the items that we're displaying um, um, and show it on the page. Um, now, just like, just like with paintings, we can actually do this with movies as well. So what I'm about to show you here, or what you're seeing here on the slide is actually um, a page that shows information about a movie on Wikidata. I specified the, the, the movie ID using the MV source ID, and I'm showing the label, description, image, and director and screenwriter. Now we know that you know Wikidata is consists of linked data. You know each movie is linked to cast members who all have their own properties. So if we want to also want to display those cast members' information or properties like the, the image, the name, and the description, we can easily do that by using with Wixivit by referring to the cast member property in that way. So we can within that cast member property, you can specify that I want to show the image, the label, and description, and you can say that we're showing multiple of them by using the MV multiple um, attribute. Now, this page is made of data that comes entirely from Wikidata. Uh, obviously, a more powerful application might also want to draw data from elsewhere on the web as part of what it displays. So, for example, if I wanted to show information about this artist, um, maybe I want to show their information or general information about them from Wikidata, but I might also want to show their albums and play the music from Spotify, maybe play their videos from YouTube, and list their upcoming events from Soundkick. Now, we all know that music videos and events information is not really provided by Wikidata. But what's really, really cool about Wikidata is that it provides this external identifiers for this item on all of these other websites. So given that Wikidata items link to all these external sources of data, it provides this notion of uniform identifier that Wixibit uses to query the APIs of these websites in order to fetch more data from them. So now using Wikidata ID or any other external ID that represents this item in other websites, Wixibit uses these identifiers to fetch the data about this artist from all of these different websites. So for example, if there's a Spotify artist ID provided by Wikidata for this artist, then Wixibit uses this ID um, and, and, and then provides the user with a Spotify artist ID property uh, or object that is filled with all of the properties that are fetched from the Spotify API. And similarly, if Wikidata provides a YouTube channel ID and a Sonkic artist ID, what Wixibit would do is that it would take those IDs from Wikidata and it would call the YouTube API and the Sonkic API to fetch the videos and the uh, upcoming events for this artist. And, and the user will be able to use them and show them in their HTML or application. So I'll go, I'll stop sharing my screen and I'll go over a very quick demo. Let's see how to, sorry about that. Maybe I should actually have one. Yes. Um, okay. Can you all see? Um, can you all see the browser? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over a demo, show you step by step how to build a very simple application. So let's say that I want to create this simple page or simple website that shows information about the Malcolm Gladwell writer from Wikidata. So this page will, I would, I would only want to show the label for Malcolm Gladwell, the description, the image, and maybe date of birth. Okay, so the way that we would start this is that we will need the ID for Malcolm Gladwell from Wikidata. And the way that we would start this application is by, by enable the functionality of our library by specifying the MV app and the MV source to be Shaper. And then we would specify that the, the, the service would be Wikidata, which basically tells my application to connect to Wikidata. 
And then because I'm showing information about Malcolm Gladwell, what I would do is that I would specify that the ID is Malcolm Gladwell ID. Now our application should connect to Wikidata and be able to read uh, Malcolm, Malcolm um, Gladwell properties. So I wanna test my application by showing, for example, image, image, uh, by showing that or displaying the image in my application. So the way that I would do that is that I would create an image tag with the property image. And now if we run the application, we would actually see the image of Malcolm Gladwell. So now we're connected to the Wikidata page for Malcolm Gladwell. And now we can obviously read any, any property for Malcolm Gladwell from Wikidata. For example, I wanna show the label, as I mentioned, so property label. And then I would also wanna show the description for Malcolm Gladwell. And as I mentioned, I also wanna show the date of birth. So now we have a simple page that reads information about this writer from Wikidata. Now let's say that I want, obviously we know that Malcolm Gladwell is from United Kingdom or from UK. So let's say that we want, we want to get multiple writers from United Kingdom, not just Malcolm Gladwell. Now, obviously using the Wikidata, sorry, using the ID from Wikidata doesn't make sense because we're not only looking at one, one item. So we want to actually query Wikidata. So if we go to Malcolm Gladwell page, we see that the country of citizenship is United Kingdom. We also see that the occupation is writer. So we can actually use these two properties, the occupation and country of citizenship to query Wikidata. And the way that we do that is in the following way. So we can specify MB source to be occupation and the value is writer. And then we can also specify the country of citizenship to be United Kingdom. And just for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna specify the number of items to be three so we can actually see um, those writers. Now, this application or this website won't show me multiple pages until I specify multiple writers, until I specify that I'll be showing multiple writers or show me multiple writers or multiple items. And the way that we do that is that we need to specify that property items and use the MB multiple attribute. And then all the properties image label description will be, will be included within that div property items. And now our application should, should show three writers with image, label, description, and date of birth for each. It is a little bit slow. It's possible for my Wi-Fi. I apologize for that. Okay. It is slower than usual. Um, I'll give it a couple of seconds and Okay, awesome. So now we have three writers with all of their information. So the writers who don't have images, the, in Wikidata, they don't have an image. And the application or the, or, or the presentation or the website wouldn't show you any errors because of that. It would only show you if the image exists, otherwise it wouldn't show it. So we can also do fun things like, for example, if you go here to the occupation, you see that some of the writers have other occupation as well. So if you want to show writers who are also journalists, for example, you can also do that. You can say occupation, writer, and journalist. And now we will be able to see multiple writers who are also journalists as well. Yeah, it's, it's definitely my Wi-Fi. I apologize for that. Um, okay, while it's loading, um, I wanna talk a little bit about the properties that I'm showing here. Awesome, so now we see you know, writers who are also journalists. We see the image, the label, description, and date of birth. So the properties that I'm showing here, like description and date of birth, are, are property with simple values. For example, date of birth has text as their value, but some other properties like the family name, the given name, occupation, the value, the value of these properties are actually items. For example, if we want to show the schools where those writers are educated at, the school is basically another item that has label, description, and other properties with their values. So if we, if we want to show the schools, we would kind of do it in a different way, just because it's an item. So we would say something like deaf property educated at, and within that div, we would actually say, show me the label of the school where they were educated at. And obviously the label is not the only thing that we can show. We can also show other things. For example, I can also show the country where that school is located. For example, I can add within the educated at, I can say property, uh, country, and then because the value of the country is also another item, we can also say, show me the label of the country. And now we will be able to say the school where they're educated at and the country where the school is located. 
We can also show other properties for the country itself because the country value is also a label. We can say, we, we said, show me the label, but we can also say, say show me the, the capital city of, of the country. Um, it is a little bit slow. I don't know if you're, if it's me or if you see it. Is the video hanging or can you see uh, the demo? Um, I can see the demo. Okay, awesome. So now in, within the country, I can specify, show me the capital city of that country. So what, what, I'm, what I'm showing you right now is basically um, within, within, within your HTML document, you can actually read the values or the property and their values for multiple items. You know, we were able to read the writer properties and, you know, the school where they were educated and the country where the school is located and the capital city of that country. And you can go on and go on and go on, obviously. Um, another thing that I want to add is that if you want to show, if, if the writer were educated in multiple schools, you can actually use the MV multiple uh, you can use the MV, MV a multiple attribute next to the property educated at. Um, for some reason, my, my um, yeah, the demo is a little bit slow because I'm sharing my screen and I'm showing the demo. Um, okay. So now you'll be able to see multiple schools with their country and the capital city of the country. So I will stop sharing my screen now and share... Anyone have any questions before I go uh, and give a demo of the website itself? There is one question in the chat. Uh, will it show multiple values if the property has more than one? Yes. Will it show multiple? Well, you would, you would add the MV multiple attribute, like I just showed. So if mm -hmm. I, I'm going to actually share my screen. Uh, that's a good question. Yes. So um, like you see here, because educated ad could have multiple values, we are using MV multiple attribute to say that this has multiple values. And now you can see that there are multiple schools shown in the application. I hope that answered the question. Cool. Thank you. And okay. then there's another question in the Etherpad. Is Wixhibit mainly for developing prototypes? Good question. Um, it's hard to say that it's for prototypes. I would say no. The answer is no, depending on how fancy the application that you want to create. Um, for example, it is not just prepared. You can you can definitely create um, applications that works. Like if you click on the demos that I have, they do work as um, um, individual um, web pages or or applications or websites. Um, but if you want to do fancy things like um, like the art browser, for example, what they did is that every week they were fetching data to make it very fast for the paintings to show up. They were fetching data and then doing fancy things to be able to do these things. We don't really support that in Wixhibit. It's actually, I mean, you can you can cache the data, um, but we don't really fetch the data from Wikidata in a weekly basis and show it because users users are asking for different data, so we can't really fetch all Wikidata data, um, if that makes any sense. But you can do fancy things with, with with I'm showing simple examples because it's the first time for most of you seeing this. But you can actually do fancy things as long as you're able to read Wikidata only using HTML. You can definitely um, do that. Any other questions, Lydia? Uh, not so far. Awesome. Okay. Oh, there's well, a, good. there's another comment um, from David. I'd say yes. Wixhibit is quite good for prototypes as it provides a lot of basic functionality. It might not have the fa fanciest functionality and vision in your tool, but it provides a lot of the basic interactivity and need uh, and you, that you need for your prototypes. Yes. yes. And there's also another session later tonight uh, by Lucas. Um, which shows you other ways to build applications on top of Wikidata that uh, give you a bit more of that power if you need it. Nice. I'm definitely going to attend that session. <laughs> okay. <Sure. laughs> um, so I, I want to go over, um, before we go to the workshop section, I want to go over the website again. So we do have the documentation here. Feel free to go over the documentation. I have the same example that I just went over and more. Um, so feel free to go over it. We also have all the demos that I showed um, in, in, in the slides. You can, you can use those, you can um, download it, you can look at the HTML and copy it. And you can also, like I said, play with, with the code itself. And you can just like edit the code and see, and see the changes um, right on the spot. Um, so if no one has any questions, we can get to the fun part, which is, sorry, I'm trying to stop sharing and then sharing my screen again. Um, 
Okay. Um, so this is the website, it's wixhibit.org. Uh, feel free to go to the website and check it out. Um, so for the workshop um, um, section of this, of this session, so first of all, feel free to check the demos and the documentation. Feel free to ask questions. I'm gonna be here obviously. So it's more of like a, you know, Q and A kind of session. It's not really me just talking for 15 minutes. So it's, it would be really fun for you guys to play around with it, test it out, see if you can create your own cool presentations or cool websites of Wikidata using Wixhibit um, and give us your feedback when you're done. So like I said, feel free to go to the website, um, check the demos, check the documentation, use the demos that we have, use the documentation to build your own. I'll give you like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You can play around with it. Please feel free to ask questions about this is not working. How do we do this? How do we not do this? Um, and after the 20 minutes, obviously during the, during the 20 minutes, feel free to ask me questions. But after the 20 minutes, we can come back again. We can share. Feel free to share your presentations or what you built with us. Um, give us your feedback on what you liked and what you didn't like, what was difficult, what was nice. And um, there's a form in, in the exhibit.org slash feedback um, for you to give us feedback as well. Yes, yes, please use the channel to ask questions and feel free to also unmute and ask the questions. Um, yeah, we're all gonna be here building applications together. And if there is anything that I can do to make it easier for you, please let me know. That's very cool. Thank you so much, Tafa. Um, while people are getting um, to wixhibit.org to try some examples, uh, there are two more questions um, in the etherpad. Maybe we can um, get to them now. Yes, that would uh, be great. First question is, uh, can it display maps? This question might be actually for Leah Veru. So I am using, uh, Leah, Leah, Leah created um, this HTML templating language. It's awesome, it's called Mavo. And Mavo, you can actually, programmers can add plugins. From what I know so far, Mavo does not support maps, and I could be wrong. Um, what do you mean by displaying maps? It's possible that it's a visualization. Is that, yes. is that what the... I, I think it's about uh, visualizing uh, a geo-coordinate uh, from Wikidata. I know, that it, I know that you can use a plugin to show charts, but I'm not sure if it supports maps. David, am I, am I correct in that? Tarfa, I'm here too. I could I could take this if you want. Yes. Go yes, ahead. Please wait. Awesome. Uh, so Mavo doesn't actually have anything special for maps, but Mavo treats HTML generically. So any web component for maps would also work with Mavo. Web components are custom HTML elements that are packaged as a as something you can just include. Uh, so and there are plenty of web components about maps. Uh, so any of those would work with Mavo and thus with, with, with Wixhibit as well, although we haven't tested this out. Yeah, so, so, so in other words, if you just find a web component that takes geo coordinates in HTML, in, like, the, the, the normal usage would be to place the, the geo coordinates that you want to map inside of the HTML representing the web component, and Mavo can do that. It can place those geo coordinates in that part of the HTML, at which point the web component should do the proper thing and display them. Cool, thank you. And then the other question from the Etherpad was, can you sort multiple values using a qualifier like series ordinal? So for example, in Wikidata, we have scientific papers with um, several authors, and then um, they would have a series ordinal, I believe, uh, to indicate who was the first author on that paper, who was the second author, and so on. Yes, that's a great question. So far, we're not supporting qualifier, qualifiers, which we should. It should be very straightforward to support. But so far, we're not. The only thing that we're supporting is the main value of the, like only the writers, for example, the name of the writers and obviously all the other information, but not the qualifiers. Great question, though. This so is something this is, that I'm currently working on. And this is something I don't know about Wikidata. So these qualifiers are not just other properties of the uh, of the object. These are these are higher order properties or something. They're, they're extra values. So the property has a value and it has like additional things like qualifiers and stuff like that. Got it. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's what we're not supporting. It's very straightforward to support. Something that I should be working on um, pretty soon. Great question. Cool. Are there any um, 
uses that that you've seen people um, or any websites uh, that you've seen people build with Wixibit already that you find really cool or are you hoping to get those out of this workshop? So the first, I actually, you reminded me, the first use case of this, at least the first use case that we know of was actually from, um, was actually from, um, what is it called? Um, a, an open data manager in National Library of Wales. He actually used our, uh, our gallery um, and he made small changes to our, our gallery demo and he made it work for his data or their data in the National Library of Wales. So instead of saying instances of painting, he actually changed it to collection and the collections value would be National Library of Wales. And, you know, instead of, you know, using the creator, he used the bricks and, and now you'll be, able, you'll be able, this is like a very simple, very straightforward application that you guys can try and share with me today. Um, that was the first use case, but other use cases so far, no, we don't have like a lot of other use cases that, I mean, we have it in the lab. Some, some, some of my colleagues in the lab have, have uh, tried it out and built applications, but none of the people outside of, of uh, MIT have actually shared with us um, their application. And that's why I want to take advantage of this opportunity, because the more, more people who you're using it, the more, um, the, the better that we would be able to improve uh, our tool. You know, like you mentioned, the qualifiers, one thing. Um, I also get another comment from, from uh, other people, like maybe we should support uh, the IDs as well as um, the name of like, for example, instead of using painting, we can use the ID of, of the item painting uh, as well, which is something that we don't support, but it's very easy to support. Yeah, but is that, is that the, the, the straight answer is that this is the premiere of Wixhibit. Um, no, yes. Nobody's known about it before now, and we're sort of releasing it as part of this conference. So as of yet, yeah. there's no usage because we've just finished making it. You've definitely come to the right crowd then. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the goal. Um, we, 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 we hope that this workshop will generate a bunch of, uh, of interesting demos that we can um, put out there for people to see. Yeah. Uh, Jeanette is asking in the chat, how did you get to the page where you could start editing the HTML for Wixivit? Yes, so that, great question. That can be any, me... It can be any HTML, like your, your your page can be anywhere, right? It's just an it's HTML the, document. It's, yeah, but but I think she meant the, the editor. I think you can click play. So if you want to, if you want to edit any of these demos, you can just click the button play and it will show you this code pen. If, if some of you might have used code pen, some of you might have not. Um, this is what you would be seeing if you click on play, and then you'll be able to edit the HTML here and see the changes. I hope that's, yeah. that was the answer. Yeah, th this is one of the sort of things that I find really exciting and cool about Wixhibit is that you can have this whole working application just sitting in CodePen where somebody else can go and play with it and, and edit it and change it into a different application. Um, and it all, it'll all run right there in the browser. Yeah, so you, you can create a new project just by forking that CodePen and, and starting to fiddle with the HTML. And feel free, feel free to, if you sign up, feel free to save it and share the code with us. This would be very useful for us to see what kind of what kind of applications or presentations people are creating for Wikidata. So please do that. Uh, we have a debugging question from Lucas in the chat. Having trouble getting yes. MB property equals depict. Uh, I don't know if quotation quotes matter around the depicts uh, attribute. Yes, you need yeah, you need to use the quotation. Try try to use it, Lucas, and let me know if it works. Yeah, I'm uh, very excited to see what Lucas comes up with. <laughs> you can also, I mean, yeah, nice. again, because if if you're working in a code pen, feel free to sh and you are you know something's not working, feel free to share it, share a link. We can yes. look at the code pen too. Exactly, exactly. Um, so can I create a new project from there? Yes, you can. So what you can do is that you can just save and it's going to create a copy for you. It's not going to be, you're not going to be changing my, my, my copy. Um, Jeanette, I hope, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question. So in CodePen, you can actually save it. You can create an account and save it. Leah, um, remind me if, uh, sorry, Leah Varu, do we need to create a, do we need to sign up to be able to save CodePen? I imagine we need to, right? I'm not actually sure. I think they used to allow saving anonymously, but I'm not sure if they still do. Okay. I think the, I, I mean, think the only you, problem is that if, if you save anonymously, then it, you mean, can go it, back to it. it can't identify you when you come back, right? So yes. it, it, you may be able to access it from your current browser, but you won't be able to access it from a different browser. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. 
You can also you, you, you can you can also just download the HTML and store it wherever you want. Uh, yep. Exhibit works anywhere. These are a great question. <laughs> yeah, um, while people are um, working on on some some demos, um, one of the things I found really cool about uh, Wixhibit was the ability to combine Wikidata's data with all this other stuff that's out there on the web, right? Because yes. um, Wikidata, one of Wikidata's most powerful features are its external identifiers, and it's it's very much underused and underloved, I would say. Um, <laughs> I agree. I agree, Lydia. It was amazing. Yeah, and I guess for us that, to, that, to, I yeah. guess that's one of the things that we didn't show in the um, in the step by step demo, right? Is that is, is true? Linking out, that is linking, true. Can you? Is, is there anything on these uh, on, on yeah. these people pages that links out that you could show? Yes, let me actually go over the documentation. It's very quick. Um, in the documentation, if anyone wants to know how to do this. So if you go to the documentation, you scroll down until the end of the documentation. I do have an example of, of Lady Gaga page where I'm reading. In so in, to, to be able to read Lady Gaga, obviously in Wikidata, you specify that the ID is Lady Gaga ID in Wikidata. And then you can read you know, the image, the label, the description property from Wikidata. But how do I read Spotify or how do I show like the Spotify albums and tracks here on the side? We actually created this like simple code generator. So let me go to the Lady Gaga page to just show you how to use it. Um, oops, sorry. So from data, I'll look for Lady Gaga. Oops. And then from there, I would actually search for Spotify to make sure that Lady Gaga has a Spotify artist ID in Wikidata. I'm just going to copy this and I'll go to my documentation and this code generator at the end of the page, I can paste an external identifier there and click generate. When I click the generate, I will actually produce the code for you for that because people don't know what the property is coming from the Spotify API. They know Wikidata properties, that's easy for them, or at least they can look it up from Wikidata. But how do they know what is in, in the API uh, of Spotify? So I create this code for you when you copy the, 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 the ID of the external identifier and then I generate code for you. And you can just copy it and paste it and just use it as is. And that's what I did here. I copied and pasted and I just cho chose the thing that I want to show in my page. Yeah. So, so the way to think about this is that we're we're trying to create the illusion that Spotify is just this annex of of Wikidata, and exactly. you when when you get the Spotify uh, entry, you're just getting back a, a a data object like you would from Wikidata with various properties that you can now put into your page. Yep. Very very cool, and it seems that Lucas did succeed in producing something. Do we want to look at it? Well, that nice. was fast. You're not, you're not supposed to finish so soon. We've got another half hour. What, what are we going to spend our time on? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I think I found my problem. I used MV property. Yes, MV multiple. Oh, yes, you're right. So you just use property equal depicts with, with quotation marks and then MV multiple. Yes. Sorry, Luke, uh, it, I didn't it, see it, that it too. Be, it, it should not be MV property. It should just be property. Yes. Yeah, I think he he figured it out. I didn't see it too. So basically like this. Oh, nice. I'll check it out. Yep, I'm I'm seeing Yay. content. Yes, we have our first application. <laughs> <laughs> do you want Thank to you, share Lucas. it so that everyone can see it? Yes, I can do that. Sorry, I'm trying to move multiple okay window okay this is lucas application thank you lucas you can i mean obviously you can add things to it you can keep adding to it i'm going to refresh if you're if you're going to be updating it but that's nice any comments lucas about this um I think it's pretty nice to get a working application in five minutes. Um, yeah, it's not you know. I, I guess we can you, you can keep uh, enriching it, but it, it's uh, it, it's nice to be able to start that fast. Yeah, it looks very exciting, I would say, and I was this, it kind great? of makes my later presentation redundant. But maybe there's still some use in it. We'll see about that. 
Um, is, I'm, is I'm looking a, forward is, to your session. Yeah, is this object a is this object a painting? Is, is somebody said something about art browsing? It's an XKCD comic. Oh, 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 oh. So how can we get the com is is there a link that will let us display the comic in the Yeah, so in my session I'm going to get the link to the image of the comic from XKCD's API. So they have some ah. JSON endpoint because it's not a free yes. image, so it can't be on Wikidata directly. Right. Um so I guess is if it, no one else has a question, we could uh, check there, if I can get that it, here. Yeah, is the, if there's a Wikidata external link um, to the ex, to, to the XKCD image, then it should be possible to incorporate that here. In the meantime, Rodrigo is asking, how can I share a link in CodePen? Good question. If you can save, if you if you signed up in CodePen and you can save, you can click on save. You can just you can literally just copy the URL and share it with us in the yeah, chat. Yeah, you just copy the link and copy the URL in the address bar, and and that's what you share. But you have to save it first. And Lucas said he had to sign up to save. Okay. Thank you, Lucas. Lucas, maybe we should collaborate since we're working on similar projects. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to your session. Okay, Rodrigo paste bent uh, the code. Um, maybe we can showcase that as well. Yes. Ah, paste bent. Um, uh, paste bin. So for that, you need HTML. For, okay, so that we need to download in order to run, right? Um, or, or sorry, I mean, what questions? What was the question? The, no, Rodrigo shared a link to the HTML that he's written. Um, he's using Pastebin. So if you go there, you'll just see the HTML and you can save that and uh, open it in your browser. Um, I see. I see. Uh, sorry, Jeanette, uh, what do you mean about results? Oh, oh the, the what you saw in... Um, the demo was some specialized demo software that that Leah has created for doing this kind of kind of side by side of HTML and results. But you'll kind of get Maybe. that with, you'll kind of get that with the code pen. That is, code code pen will show you the HTML and will also show you a separate with a separate pane, uh, which contains the the present which presents that that HTML document. Yeah, let me show let me show. Um, sorry, I'm trying to. Um, I'm going to show Rodrigo's application, and I can explain, uh, Jeanette, how to. Um, if you if you mean CodePen, I can explain. This is Rodrigo's uh, application. I just um, I just copied your HTML, and and I'm showing it in a CodePen now. Can you can you all see it? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Political parties, um, and Jeanette, if you, if your question was how to show the HTML in CodePen, then. This is how you can see it. You can just drag and drop. If that was your question, maybe you meant like the the demo that I showed in the slide. That's a different thing. But if yes. you meant code, then it's it's you can see it yeah, side the, by I side, and you can change. The, it's a settings, right? You, where you change the view. Yes, it's basically a setting here. Uh, I I was having some troubles because I didn't know how to show uh, multiple political ideologies. So. Uh, uh, Let's see. I just let it. Multiple. Which which property that you want to show multiple of? Uh, po political ideology. Let's see. Political. Uh, in in line seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. Oh, I see. Um. Oh, so you have. The, let's see. So is political ideology a property of the in, in wikidata yes wikidata? Uh -huh. what you can political do parties. Is, yeah i think what you can do is you can show um let's see let's show label it might show them one after the other uh, let me see what it would show quick time check we have about 10 minutes i think you may Thank if, you, Lydia. If, if you make another mv multiple for the ideology oh. property Probably, uh, and then the label inside it. So what you can exactly. do, yeah, what you can do is something like this. 
property, Typo. not writing property. Yep, I'm not writing property right. You can do something like this. And then inside that, you can obviously add the MV multiple. And then inside that, you can actually add, I don't know, span with um, property um, equal, I don't know, label. And it should work. Try it out, um, Rodrigo, and let me know if it actually well, works. We, so we, actually, should be, we should be able to see here if it's working. That is true. <laughs> this is the fun of code pen. So yes, so you are. can see it here. Yes, multiple. I have, it's obviously, I don't know why it's linked. It's possible yeah, you have it linked. Is that what you wanted to do, Rodrigo? Yes, yes, yes. Thank awesome. you. Yes, of course. You can actually see it in the documentation. Show list, uh, show a list of properties or multiple properties in the documentation. Uh, uh, there's a question from Paul in the chat, Tarfa. Yes, uh, Paul. I changed the movie for the movie page, but the preview video, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. The reason being is that I actually hard coded the video. I did not show it from Wikidata, which I should do. Thank you for pointing that out. So the video should be the video ID from Wikidata, but this application, I'm just showing like an actual link, the video link for um, this movie. So I apologize, we should change it, but everything does work. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Do you see my screen? Not right now. No. Oh. But I see, I see your application. Very any other, cool. Any other yeah. application I, coming together so quickly. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so exciting. Thank you guys for trying them out. Um, yes, Jenna, do you want to, do you want to, is it working now for you? Do you want to share your code pen, even if it's not fully functioning or working? Anyone wants to share their application as well. So we do have like seven minutes before the end of the session. It would be really great to, you know, you can you can share it even after the session, you can email it to me. So when you go to, uh, let me share the link um, for a feedback uh, form. Okay, so this is, I shared in the chat the feedback form. In the feedback form, feel free to share your um, prototypes that you created. You can either share a URL of CodePen, GitHub, you can email me the code. I put my email in the form as well. And you can also, you can also give us your feedback. Uh, what did you think about Wixhibit? Uh, what did you like? What did you not like? What would you want to, what, what would you want us to change in Wixhibit? What kind of applications you want to build? Yeah, that would be very, very useful for us. If you're not working on on your own um, apps right now and just have thoughts that you want to share, we're we're well uh, we 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 you're, we well, we'd love to hear them. Um, you know, to talk about them a little bit here. Um, oh, so you it's, not, you it's not in the settings. It's not in the settings uh, menu. There's a separate. I think it's a view menu or something in Code ben, Jeanette, uh for for changing the position of the um, uh, of the results pane. Uh, Tarfa, if you share your screen, you can show where yes. that. I'll actually answer both questions. Um, Bernard also has another question. I don't know if you can see my screen. Yes, you do see the form, though. Uh, so, there is, um, you, you don't need a run button in CodePen. It always runs as soon as you change the content. Yes. So I also don't have a run button sometimes. Um, if you say that you, you, the, the run button will, will show up, but you can just you know make changes and it should change. Let me know, Bernard, if it doesn't work. Um, Sorry, what was Jeanette's um, question? I have not found where do we do this in setting. Oh, so Jeanette, you can do this all over again. You can close the code pen that you have and you can like, let's say, go to this Jane Austen books page and you can click on play and you'll be able to see it here. This is when I open it, this is how it looks like. And this is basically the HTML, it's actually here. You can drag <clears throat> and this is where the HTML is. I see. So yours look, looks like this. 
Yours look like this. Oh, maybe that was the confusion. But can you see the HTML now? Awesome. For the people who are who are who are trying who tried the tool and, and tried to build applications, um, any 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 pros and cons for um, about Wixibit? What you think? What you liked about it? What do you think we should be changing? Please feel free to share them on the chat or just unmute and, and let us know about them. Feel free to discuss any of the any of the pros and cons of it. Um, how are you? How are you showing properties? I would feel more comfortable if property equal also allowed property IDs. Yes, I agree with you, Lucas. I also got that from people who used it before. Um, so we we are now running a user study that were that examines our tool, and a lot of the users who used the exhibit also gave that same comment because I guess using property IDs are more. Um, it's more of a unique, and then I think also Wikidata people are used to the ID, so it's it's it would be nice to support that as well. It shouldn't be difficult to do so. Um, yes, Lucas, that's also right. I think the, the 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 challenge here today is that I didn't go over the documentation in details. So yes, the way that you write the property names, you write it in a different way. You can have spaces. You need to remove the spaces. Um, thank you, Sardar. All right, um, since we're getting close to the end, um, where can people reach you if they have feedback, more questions or cool stuff to show later? Yes, please please fill out the form. The form has my email. So please email me any questions, any fee any feedback. Please share your code your your code pens or codes with me. <clears throat> that would be great. Awesome, Janet. I'm happy. I'm happy that you figured it out. But thank you, thank you everyone for um for being here today and for trying my tool, if you want to, if you want to participate in my study that I'm that I'm currently uh, running, please fill out. Feel feel free to sign up in this form. This would really really improve Wixibit and make it more usable for Wikidata people. So feel free to sign up um, and give us more feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tafa. This was really cool to see. And yeah, of course, thank you, Lydia. Really incredible. <laughs> thank you, Lydia. Um, I appreciate it.